I represent a 62 years old man complaining of dry cough fever for one month. The CT show right located in Payama. We plan for a right uniportal thoracoscopic deprivement. Port location at the fifth intercoastal space mid epidemic line. We start at a fresh area away from the empyema pouch. We try to push the lung down to get more space to work in. After this, we point the scope codily to see the largest pouch, which is a subpulmonary one. As the patient is toxic and in the acute phase, you can see the bleeding inflamed surfaces all over. The empyema was organized mostly due to late presentation as the patient was afraid to come for hospitalization. With the tip of a suction, try to break down the biofilm and the amalgam of pus, and then with the add of a ring forceps, we grasp the largest areas and take it out. We move cranially until we reach to the apex of the lung. And as you can see, the largest pouch at the diaphragm, subpulmonary location, posterior, and then the recules continue until the apex of the lung. We grasp an area of a lower loop. Gently track the lung cranially very gentle maneuver at this stage as the lung is inflamed there is some pneumonia so it can be easily injured resulting in a air leak that will delay the recovery and prolong the hospital stay of the patient. After freeing the lower loop from the diaphragm, we start to remove the biofilm from the diaphragmatic surface. In some areas, we will find small parts of the thick pleura. 
sit carefully swept away from the lung Care should be taken to remove all the biofilm and infected material as most of the time this is an organized debris that the antibiotics cannot reach. After we remove all this infected material, freeing up the apex of the lung, make sure there is no other pockets and vena at the medial surface of the lung. And finally, make several washes with warm saline and better in solution and sometimes we use oxygen peroxide to disinfect any remaining biofilm inside the pneumothorax. This irrigation of the lung this help to make hemostasis and also helps to detect any area of air leak with the inflation of the lung from the anesthesia size. Here the lung is now fully inflated, reaching to the stress wall. We put a chest tube at the side of the port, reaching to the apex, close the wound, and this is the x-ray in the post-op.